Welcome, listeners, to Just Neapolitan, where we ask the age-old question, video games? Joining me today are Maggie and Jordan, and I am your resident filthy casual, Brian. <laughs> filthy casual. The, fil- the filthy one. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dirty. <laughs> Come on, now. I can't just be a cash. You gotta be a filthy cash. <laughs> Well, you know, I have been forcibly booted out of the PC Master Race right now. So, console games are where I'm at. Yeah. Oh, casual. What have you been playing? Well, um, that's further down my notes. (laughs) (laughs) Going out of order, but okay. Uh, He he never felt like he was ever going to go first. (laughs) Now you're first. He said, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm never uh, never first. and, And you're like. No, fuck you, time. So who's on first? No, What's on so-, so who's on first? First of all, this is my therapy brain going, you know what, Brian? No one has given you a chance to speak first. How about you go first this time? Well, since I do, like, the intro and I'm usually the prompter, I always go last because, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm going first today. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. so the filthy casual that I am. Um, I decided to try a new game that was on, you know, Game Pass. Ooh, boo, yes, everyone hates Game Pass. We don't care what you think. <laughs> um, I mean, you're listening either way, right? Unless they already turned um, it off at this point. I, damn, you know what? Is like, damn. Good for them. <laughs> but then they're not dead. You know what? Whatever. <laughs> so, so I tried this game called Ghost Lore. Okay. Um, which the blurb on the store page describes it as an East Punk action RPG where you fight monsters from Southeast Asian folklore. Inspired by ARPGs such as Diablo 2 oh, wow. Titan Quest. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty meh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, so it's got, it's just like uh, sprite graphics and it's like a 2.5D, you know, so it's that isometric kind of deal. Um, graphically, I, I like how it looks. That's fine. Um, the combat was okay. And just doing the first map, I gained five levels, but I really didn't feel any stronger, mm-hmm. uh-huh. except I had skills now, and I it just I bounced off it so quickly, like, and and then of course because it's an ARPG and that's what I was in the mood for, I just went and played Diablo three instead. Yeah, and I was like, oh, yeah, this is better. Uh, but I mean, it's it's a it's a little indie game. I don't know. I'm sure some people would like it. I just there's some things, like. The monsters continuously respawn. Um, like, you can get certain areas where it's kind of quiet for a bit. Mm-hmm. But then, for example, if you're in the menu too long, which doesn't pause the game, all of a sudden you'll be getting hit while you're in the menu. Oh, which no. Which is great when it's a new game and I'm trying to figure out what the fuck's going on with the system. No, 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 no. And um, the skill system seems pretty cool. Like, you can put different runes or skills, like, next to each other. Mm-hmm. And you get a synergy thing. So that seemed like it was going to be fun to figure all that out. But I just I just bounced off it real hard. I finished the first map and I'm like, I don't want to do this. Yeah. Um. Yeah, which is a shame. I I wanted to like it, but hey, once again, happy I didn't pay for it because that's one of those <laughs> games that I probably would have wish listed on Steam and went, oh, it's on sale for ten bucks. Yeah. And I bought it, played it once, and went, cool. I just wasted ten bucks. Well, at least the good thing with Steam, right, is that you can get a refund on it. So. That's true. I would. It is true. I would have bounced off it quickly enough that I would have been like, "Fuck out, give me my money." Back. <laughs> give me my money. Give well, me at my least money. it got you kind of back into Diablo three. <laughs> In a sense, I, it... I was already oh, playing never, Diablo three for the past two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> In prep for Diablo I, four, I, or just because? Literally yesterday, I I um I started my second seasonal character of it because mm. I'm playing it so much. And uh, no, I'm not going to play Diablo four. Yeah. I've only ever played the second one for like maybe ten minutes, and I said not for me. <laughs> so I played the third one for like at least a couple of days, and then I was like, "And that's good enough for me, all right." And I, in the words of Floyd, I got what I needed out of it. <laughs> yep. Tr- yeah. Truly. Yeah. I mean, the Diablo. I mean, it's like the grandfather of ARPGs at this point. Um, it kind of everyone copies like how two or three were if you're into the genre it, like three i think is an excellent one everyone who's like oh two was better i'm like go back and play two yeah it's like you, you will you will see how much not better it was 
But like, also my thing, which I complain a lot about games and stuff too, and say like this one's better than that one. But at the same time, it's like just let people fucking enjoy the game. It's like, <laughs> oh, two's better. Okay, then yeah, go play two. No one's telling you you have to play the third one. Exactly. If you like that right. one better, go they play. They also remade two, so you can pay them again for the same <laughs> game with prettier graphics. But you what? They probably did. Probably did. Oh, I'm sure they Absolutely. did. Absolutely. I'm sure they did. Um, yeah, so that. And then um, I played a bit of Skyrim. Oh, nice. With my Wood Elf Archer, um, which is the game that I play with the survival mode on. Uh-huh. Ooh, yeah, I played for like an hour, and I was like, oh, no, this is like a day off game if I play this <laughs> on survival mode. Because there's no fast travel. You have to make sure you sleep. You have to make sure you're eating. Um, your inventory's... Uh, like the weight you can carry for your inventory is more than cut in half. Yeesh. No, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It it makes it very difficult, which is why I played it. It's also why I chose to uh, go for a wood elf and use archery so I can hunt if I need yeah, to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see why uh, that but, would be fun. But for me, I'm like, no fast travel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That I mean, and that's the part that sucks the game up. Um, but it's like, what's cool about the no fast? Well, you can still get on like a carriage, um, and take that places. Uh, but also, when you get to that section of the map on the uh, east side where it's all mountainous and all that, and all these switchbacks and everything, I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, that is going to be such a pain in the ass to traverse that area. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. That's one of those places that, as soon as you finally get to all the places out there, you're like, oh, thank you, fast travel. <laughs> Like, right now, I'm in the, the center of the map because I'm only, like, level 8. So I'm still in the white run oh, area. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very Where it's all flat. End. It's like you just, you can just yeah, you can just, like, straight line to places. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's so slow in that game because, uh, like, if you don't eat, your max health starts, starts to drop. Goodness. Um, if you don't have enough rest, um, your max stamina begins to drop. Uh, but there's also, like, you can be, like, well-fed and you get some bonuses and stuff. So... It, it, it's a i don't i i'm always into that like you know i play a game on hard mode that's the way to play yeah i mean i get not it. really i'm a normal mode guy most of the time but if i enjoy a game I, i'd like to kind of make some challenges in the game because it helps with the replayability did you ever play now that you're talking about this did you ever play the game the long dark no that has been on my steam wish list for a long time i think it's on because... game pass is it really? I think so. Floyd downloaded it for me years ago. I played it maybe for 10 minutes and then was like, you play it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it is exactly that. It's, I mean, you can make it on hard mode, but even on easy, it's on hard mode, at least for me, because it is all of those aspects of like survival and finding food, finding shelter, finding warmth kind of thing. Cause you're like dropped in the middle of a snowstorm. So if you like that, you should check it out. Oh, it's funny you mentioned warmth. I forgot about that. Yeah, you can also get cold. Yeah. <laughs> or get overheated in uh, the Skyrim survival mode. So, like, wandering around at night is kind of terrible because it's colder at night. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds fun. What y'all been playing? <laughs> you like torturing yourself. It's fun. <laughs> Jojo, do you want to go I'm secretly a masochist I'm finding out. <laughs> <laughs> no, you want... You want me to go first? Okay. Somebody, yeah. I said. I See, said this is Jojo. why I don't. This is why I don't go first. I said, Jojo, do you want to go first? But I can go nope, first because nope, all I've been, I've been out of town for a week, so I, I and I brought my Switch with the intent of playing more, um, uh, Tears of the Kingdom, but for some reason, which it, please explain this to me if anybody understands, it told me. I tried to connect to the Wi-Fi in the hotel, but obviously it's hotel Wi-Fi, so my Switch was not having it. Um, and it didn't allow me to play the game because I was not connected to the Wi-Fi. That game it's does because... not require anything to be connected to the internet. Aren't you sharing? What do you mean? Aren't you sharing a game? No. Oh, so you physically bought that? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I... I got it off of the um, eShop. Okay. Is that why? 
That no, doesn't make any sense. The thing well, I was thinking about was if you were sharing an account with somebody and uh-uh. they they bought it, they're, therefore you have it, it technically no, I have you, it would own. never allow you. Okay. No, I, I know why. It's welcome to the era of all games always connected all the time. But why? For why? What? It, it, why? Why do? <laughs> well, why do do? So let's have a little history lesson. So if you've ever looked at your end user licensing agreement for any game since the dawn of time, you do not own any of your games. Mm-hmm. You can't modify. You, you know what I'm saying? Like technically every mod that goes into a game. So now through the end user licensing agreement, they've had the right and always have had the right to make you constantly prove you actually own your copy. They do this now by causing you to always be connected to prove that you actually own your copy. Because basically what happened is they gave up and they're like, well, we can't stop people from pirating and doing all this shit. So here's what we're doing instead. Better have a stable internet connection at all times. Well, I hate it. Welcome to the future (laughs) of gaming. Well, it really dampened the mood (laughs) on my late night trying to run around Hyrule. (laughs) So basically it Um, made you into the fake gamer. No, because I did end up playing it yesterday and this morning. So um but while i was on my trip i couldn't which was very sad and i tried to play other games but i didn't want to play any other games so i was just not feeling it and i i played probably like 10 minutes of it yesterday and maybe 10 minutes of it today i keep opening it because i am really enjoying the game but for some reason i like turn it on and then i get to a shrine and i'm like i don't want to do that right now and so i just turn it off again look it's called taking your time <laughs> I know. I am taking my time with it, for sure. I am very much taking my time with it. But it is a great game, in my opinion. Every time... So, I'm a weirdo, and I still have a Facebook, because I like... I know. Because I like joining... All right, Granny. I know. (laughs) Groups to, like, talk to... It's like chat rooms, right? It's like, you know, being on... It's like being on Reddit. Um, But I'm part of a... Or Discord. Or or Discord, but I'm saying, like... (laughs) There's an entire, I'm part of a group that was Breath of the Wild themed, and obviously now it's kind of moved over to Tears of the Kingdom. And it, I try not to see any spoilers, and I haven't seen any, but half the people are like, this game is amazing. And the other half are like, it's okay. (laughs) And um, (laughs) it's just, I'm one of those people that it sucks, but like, I know I can be easily influenced. And I try not to be, but when I see someone say, like, this game is not good, sometimes it can get in my head. I'm like, is do I actually think this game is good or is it not good? Um, and I read a couple of those comments and I was like, I don't know if it's getting to me or not because I'm genuinely enjoying the game. But sometimes I just turn it on and I play for 10 minutes and I'm like, okay, maybe I can go do something else now. Um, but it, I, I mean, I've been having a good time. I like the story. I like the characters. I like, I mean, it, you know, it's the same map pretty much um just with like different twists and whatnot and it's nice to see familiar characters too and be like oh my god what have you been up to for however many years this takes place afterwards um but yeah that's pretty much all i've been up to (laughs) you reminded me i have also played a bit of breath of the wild because i'm trying to finish it so then i can justify buying series yeah Oh, get ready to give me the fake gamer of the week. Bow, 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 bow. Oh. For months, it caught wow. it caught up to me because all I've been doing for this past week is photography. I never had the chance um, to really play. Well, at least you were still doing an interesting hobby. Yeah. 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 But my interesting hobby would rather be sitting at a computer or having a switch in my hand and casually playing a video game. Instead of playing the video game, I'm over here taking pictures of these damn kids. <laughs> wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Fuck. Wait, whoa, 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 wait, wait, whoa, wait. Hold on. Let me let me clarify. Let me clarify. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me, let me clarify. whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no, and on, sa- on Saturday and Monday, was this Monday? It was either Monday or Tuesday. I had to take and a picture. The day is not what we need you to clarify. <laughs> yeah, okay. keep going. Get I, to I the, know. Get to the the part. Story, I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm getting there. So, on Saturday, I had to work with a production company to take pictures 
of the 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 Shy Sox Foundation, which was hosting like something for the kids to you know get to oh, baseball. Okay. So I was taking pictures of them. Tuesday, I had to take pictures of a national and international um, skater, roller rink skater. Like, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, so like figure skating is figure roller skating. So I was at somewhere on the south side. He went to his alma mater uh, elementary school. And so I was taking pictures with, taking pictures of him and the kids. And the kids were so loud at 7 o'clock in the goddamn morning. I was like, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, fuck them kids. It, fu- it really <laughs> fucked them kids. And made me be like, you know what? This is why I don't want to have a kid yet. You just backed it up for for seven more years. I don't want you yeah. to turn thirty two. <laughs> Hearing a kid scream is like seven years of bad luck, but it's just you not having kids for another seven years. Yeah, because it's it's just like, huh? You probably have the thought of maybe I do want a lineage. That happens. Nope, never mind. Uh, oh I yeah, kindly take if it back. I, like when I was on my trip this past week, I was hanging out at a pool and there was a a baby running around. It was probably like two years old. And he was like giggling and laughing. And I was like, oh my God, so cute. But then he was running around the pool with no one watching him. And I was like, see, this is where, this is my fucking anxiety. Because whose kid is this? (laughs) Whose child is running around the pool? He could get hurt. He could literally fall. Like, I was just like, and this is why, like, no, I, my anxiety is already so high. Sometimes they annoy me. And this like brief moment of like, oh, is not worth it. <laughs> it's not it's worth really it. not. But, you know, that's what made me the fake gamer this week. I would have played Street Fighter Six. I haven't bought it yet because I haven't had a full time to That's what to I die, was expecting. To die. Yeah, <laughs> is funny it enough. Yes. Oh, gosh. It came out yesterday. Yeah. Yep. I haven't had a time to like fully sit down, digest, buy the game, sit here and rant about said game or praise said game. Rant or praise. I, we don't I know mean, yet. it just it just came out for Pride Month. <gasps> happy yeah. Pride! Oh yeah, happy, happy Happy Pride <laughs> and Happy Juneteenth month because Juneteenth is also in Pride happy Month. Juneteenth. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, one of the uh, I think the best lesbian characters in games is Tiny Tina. You see. I've never played Except that, Except for Borderlands. she's in Borderlands Lands 3, 3 yeah. and Borderlands 3 sucks. Oh, that's the one we played. No, the, we the, played Borderlands 2, and Borderlands 2 was good, but Borderlands 3 sucks. In 2, she's still like a kid, so you don't really know yet. But in 3, she's grown up more. Got it. And, yeah. Yeah, you know. So, woo. Woo. Celebrate. Cele- celebrate representation in celebrate. games. Celebrate. Also celebrate your right to never play Borderlands 3 because it sucks. Yeah. One of these days we're going to have that episode of just sh- fully shitting on this damn game. Let me be happy. Yeah, I, my problem is I'm so far removed from playing it, I'm worried that that means I would have to go back and play it just to no. refresh my hatred, and I'd rather not ever have to play it again. Yeah. So that may never be an episode until um, until Maggie finishes Borderlands Two. Oh no! <laughs> and then we make her play three, so she understands why we. Hate yeah. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. That's gonna. I'll be get fun. there yeah. eventually. I mean, it's not. Listen, it's on the list. That's gonna be fuel that hatred. The, the list is fucking quick. huge, but it's on the list. <laughs> so. Now let's go back to what I was going to start with. (laughs) (laughs) Addendums and corrections from last week. (laughs) Uh, Where's my news and addendums? Well, Floyd would say. Yeah, right? Yeah, see, Floyd would have reminded us. Yeah, because he wants his Um, news and addendums early. Yeah. No. No. I want that first. I want it first. (laughs) Uh, So last week I called the movie Six Mile. (laughs) The movie is Eight Mile. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, no one else did. noticed that I said it either but I noticed when I was looking back when I was listening to the uh, final mix um, also what I missed Jordan's joke which granted was about two minutes late shut it uh, and let me respond and Clarence's parents have a real good marriage he does oh yeah, <laughs> my god yeah so um and then we talked a little bit about the System Shock remake that was coming out. 
Uh, and let me first correct this, because I did think about it after, but Candle also put it in Discord, is that it was System Shock 2 that is his favorite. There you go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. Um, yeah, I. It's funny. I literally like it was like two or three days later, and I was just thinking about it. I'm like, I don't think one is his favorite game. But after you yeah, said it, that's, hey, yeah. I mean, you know what? We do these every week. I can make corrections. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So I had like a bit of a blur about this, but the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna say everything I'm thinking about the game because I'm gonna end with this. It. I. I'm fairly certain. I'm, like, my excitement for the game is very middle of the road. I do, however, know I'm going to play the game. Mm -hmm. Because it's a series that, like I said, like Candle, great friend of mine, great recommendations for games. He's always loved the series. I've bounced off it every time I've tried to play it, both one and two. So I want to give it a fair shot and see it with new eyes. Because since I never played it, and for me, a lot of, like, old games, because of the old, like, we don't have the quality of life stuff, I don't... I can't, it's hard for me to go back to an old game that I didn't enjoy before. Because, at least with my nostalgia and my good memories of the game, I can forgive a lot of the bullshit that happened in old games. And, you know, yeah. there's a lot. It's hard for me to go back to one that I don't already care about because I'm looking at it with brand new eyes and I'm going, this is not good. Why was this acceptable? But when you understand the game in the context of its time, I get it. I just think there's so many new games coming out all the time. I don't need to go back and play all these old ones. It's like, oh, but it's a classic. I'm like, that's great. I'd rather play the game that learned lessons from that game and has updated everything to some of the quality of life that we have. Um, unfortunately, some of the quote-unquote quality of life we have now is overbearing tutorials, <laughs> but that is my new burden to bear when it comes to these things. So that's all. I had, Like I said, I had more written, but then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to end up playing this game, so let's just hold off. Yeah, and then come back to it. Do a rep around. I can actually, yeah, I can actually talk about it when I fix my PC and play it. <laughs> <sighs> all right. It's time for counseling. I, I mean, everyone needs it. Yeah. Counseling. <laughs> Me. I'm a <laughs> She realizes this is wrong. Oh, it's like, oh wait, this is my moment. It's, it's me. me. It's a me. You. It's a you. It's a me, a Maggie. Maggie. <laughs> it's a me, Maggie yeah, the Magpie. Yeah, I was like, oh, the Maggie, Maggie. Oh. Do you want to know the the funniest thing? That's what I named my character in Persona Three. <laughs> what Maggie the Magpie? Maggie. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> And it's the funniest thing every time it comes up. Because in a lot of games, I like to put my own name because I'm just like, I'm playing it. You know, like I like the, the what's the word I'm looking for? Not integration. Like. Uh, immersion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like immersion. Um, but I was like, oh, because, you know, the game starts off where it's like, play as the guy if you want to like actually get the full experience. But play as the girl if you've already played it before. And I was like, well, I can't think of a name. So I did Maggio. <laughs> I don't know why I used about to say Maggie the Magpie because that was the only, that was the funniest thing I seen last night. With, with a little context, me, Brian, Floyd was playing Red Dragon Inn, and one of the characters has a stable full of animals, and the first one that came for the second round was Maggie the Magpie. I saw, and I instantly I saw started laughing. I love that I'm a bird because I love birds. It, I mean, it was so fitting. It was perfect. My family. I'm like the only way. So, yeah, the only way it could have been better if it was Maggie the pigeon. Yeah. Oh my god, I would have cried. I would have died oh, right there. It was it meant had, to be. It just had to be a magpie, though. Um. Well, the the alliteration. You know. <laughs> yeah. Well, what would you boys like to talk about in terms of counseling? Well, you we did have this book you were talking about. Yeah. That your professor gave you. Yeah. So if you don't know i am currently studying to be an art therapist but one of my other interests is video game therapy which i found out actually on thursday that it's called geek therapeutics is technically what you would hmm. be like classified as or like what you would be studying is geek therapeutics which has to do with not only video gaming but also like board games um specifically D D. and my professor before he TTRPG. that <laughs> before 
before he went to get his he's working on his phd now but before that he was seeing clients and he used to do group therapy sessions where each of the individuals would get to do like a it was like a D D session but in therapy so you're going through the therapeutic process while also doing a campaign which i think is very cool um obviously i'm not a big D D person i've never really played but i think if you're really into that that's something you should look into i think it's really cool but anyway um i wrote a research paper on the use of the sims 4 with people with uh, uh depression and anxiety i told him about it and he gave me this book called working with video gamers and games in therapy a, Cl a clinician's guide by anthony m bean um and it's i haven't read all of it i got it a couple days ago but it has been really interesting to look at um it specifically looks at uh why society has kind of put this stigma and these stereotypes on people who play video games or video games themselves and how we can kind of move away from that and use video games as a therapeutic tactic or just better understand why people are so into them um and yeah it's a it's a really good book and one of the things that i was talking to uh these guys here about beforehand was um this idea that um parents a lot of the times are like why is my kid playing this video game so much why are they only playing this game why why do they not want to go out and like hang out with their friends or anything like that and something that i think is really cool about this book is that it was like well have you even like tried talking to your child <laughs> about like what could be going on that they're so fixated with this game is it just because they really like it or has something else happened where they started to like hyper fixate on this because it's something they're using as a coping mechanism. It's it's something that's taking away from whatever's going on in their regular daily lives and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a very interesting book. I highly recommend it. I haven't finished it, but I think it's really cool. There are a couple of things that I've read in it so far where I'm kind of like, eh. <laughs> I'm not but, gonna lie. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I mean. There's some that yeah there is and this is how you know we're getting serious because uh I don't have that lot of energy because this is actually a, a like something true like sometimes I really do hope that parents actually talk to their kids about the reasons why they play video games because mm -hmm. it can be so many different reasons but also parents don't try to understand why the kid is really playing the video game what makes them want to spend hours playing the game or the reason why they have so much fun with it mm -hmm. you know because most times I don't, I don't know about for y'all but for me i was always playing video games because it was a, a, an escape from what of my mundane life of always you know at the time always going to school trying to do mm -hmm. work trying to be a good son and a good student at the same time video games is just a place where i could just be whoever I wanted to be in that realm of game and just have well, fun. Yeah, and it's your own personal space yeah. because everybody needs their own alone time, right? Like you can only be with people other people for so long and obviously it's a little bit different if you if you have like a lifelong or lifetime partner or whatever, mm -hmm. but you need your alone time and video games are a great way to do that. Um, but yeah, I completely agree. I think, inst I think also we are of a generation where parents didn't really understand video games. And I think now parents are starting to understand it a little bit more. I'm saying like our generation now are also parents. So if their mm. kids are like into video games, we understand it a little bit more, but you don't have to, if you're a parent out there, you don't have to, like, understand the game or like the game or anything like that. But just, like, talk to your kid about it. If your kid's really excited about this game, ask them about it. Why are they so excited about it? What do they like about it? And things like that. Because um, I think if it's so, it, if it's an integral part of your child's life that they're playing it so much right now, then it probably would mean a lot to them if you took the time out of your day to talk to them about it. And see what's going on and stuff like that. Um, obviously, again, it can just be because they really like this game. Another thing that the the book kind of talks about too is like a lot of parents or just people in general will diminish 
like online friendships that you get through games because a lot of time parents are like my kid has no friends like my my kid never goes outside and like hangs out with friends or plays outside with friends or like goes out or anything and it's like you're diminishing the friendship that they or friendships that they've created through online games or whatever other gaming says you know like take us for example like sometimes i'll watch you guys stream just on discord because i love just watching you guys play games and talking about it or talking about something completely unrelated to the game we don't even have to be talking about it we could be talking about something else and parents don't take the time to understand that aspect as well so a lot of parents diminish that kind of friendship which in turn makes your kid feel bad again because it's like oh maybe i don't have friends when in reality they do even if they've never met them they have these people that they can trust or talk to or whatever now granted if your kid is talking to if, if you don't know who your kid is talking to that's terrifying right because they could be talking to someone that is like 40 years old and weird <laughs> and like being pretty creepy but again that's like something you have to like as a parent take time out of your day to like better understand for your child because if your child is like hey i met this person we've been talking for a long time like they're really really cool we play this game together all the time you're allowed to be concerned in the sense of like okay like have you ever facetime with this person like have you ever given like any sort of not like legal information but you know like anything like that like let's talk about that before i like blow up on you <laughs> for doing this um yeah, it's re it's really really interesting. I think video game therapy is really interesting and obviously it's kind of um starting to pop off a little bit more in recent years because of I think overall like a video game boom over the last I don't know, you could probably say like 10 years or something, but um yeah, it's it's really cool. I highly recommend. Again, I have not read all of it, but something Another thing that's really interesting. I'm sorry, I'm talking so much. <laughs> um, no, you good. You do you. <laughs> but at the back of the book, it gives. Um, there's a website called which I don't like the name of it. It's called Child's Play, which just Ew. reminds me of the horror movie. So I'm like, <laughs> you could probably pick a different name. But um, it's called. Uh, what is the website called? Child's Play List or something. Oh, child Child's Play Charity dot org. And they have this list of different symptoms that your child or you even could be having and what games could relate to those symptoms in like what could like not necessarily be a form of therapy. Like obviously if you're struggling a lot with this, like go seek help, but something that might like help with the symptoms. So like something that I thought was interesting was, okay, this is one that I'm, a, this is one of the things that I'm a little like iffy on because the symptoms that they show here are pain, short term short term boredom, long term boredom, anxiety slash hyperactivity, sadness, and cognitive impairment. Um, I think putting cognitive impairment is pretty broad, and I don't really know exactly what they're trying to say with that. Um, because there, I think there are a lot of things that could fall under that, but. It's like for cognitive impairment, they have Zoo Tycoon, Madden, Nintendo Land, Nintendo Dogs, Animal Crossing, <laughs> Minecraft. Like you're just like okay, but like where, like how, in what sense is that helping with this specific symptom? That's what I want to know. Maybe I just have to go to the website myself and try to look it up. Um, but putting it in here, it's like. Yeah, if your kid is has like cognitive impairment, just slap Animal Crossing in front of them and maybe it'll help out a little bit. <laughs> but like in what sense is my question? Like in what sense is, is How that, does that help? help? I mean it certainly wouldn't help with language skills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly but, how they talk is my favorite part of Animal Crossing. <laughs> but you know, it's like it, it's it's one of those things where it's like okay maybe if you think about it from like the farming aspect or whatever you know like anything like that but also again cognitive impairment is such a broad term and there are a lot of different things that could fall under that so what exactly do you mean by that but like pain it says super mario galaxy plants versus zombies pac-man street fighter 
Super oh, yeah. Smash Bros, things like that. And again, okay. I think I just have to go to the website and like look at why they've put these on the list. Apparently they're updated like every couple of months, um, which is really great because this book is from, I think, like 2021 or something like that. But um, I think it's really cool to see a list and be like, okay, like let's look up the game and see how it would relate to this. But at the same time, I'm also like, I know a lot of these games and I don't think I would necessarily put it for this specific category. Like sadness, they put Octodad on there. <laughs> mm. I would, I would change... Yeah, you'll change your sadness to frustration and anger. <laughs> yeah, yep. that's, that's exactly you want to see how far you can throw a controller? Play Octodad. I was like, out of every game that you researched and looked at, Octodad made, on, made it on the list. You like you you have to move every individual arm. <laughs> like, the frustration would have been crazy. Yeah. Um, but that's yeah, that's a game with friends type game. Yeah, and they probably put Overcooked. You know, the game that oh. starts off friendly and then be like, stay you know, at your did, section. Did they put? <laughs> they put Little Big Planet on here. I don't think they put uh, Overcooked. They put Harvest Moon. I'm like, okay. Oh no, Stardew. Well, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm like, at least do the good one. Maybe when did this book come out? I thought it was 2021, but maybe it was uh, earlier than that. Because they put Nintendogs on here, but they also put Breath of the Wild. So this is where it gets. Breath really... of the Wild is not even 2018. What? 2018 is when this book. Came out. Okay, yeah. So. But um... who played Breath of the Wild said, "Yeah, this is good for friends." <laughs> DuckTales is on here. We which, wait, wait, wait. Which version of DuckTales? <laughs> it just says <laughs> DuckTales. <laughs> yeah, that's another... Uh, if you want to see how far a child can throw a controller. Because the original <laughs> DuckTales... Put game in front of them. <laughs> or, or else, I think they might be talking about the remake, which is still hard. It just... Well, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, it just says... make it easier. <laughs> it just says, like, in this category, like, Legend of Zelda. It doesn't spe specify which one. It just says Animal Crossing. doesn't specify which one. So I think it's, like, open to interpretation the in the sense of, like, you can pick open to any of them. Which I think Legend of Zelda is... Especially with Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom being out is a little different, depending on <laughs> which ones you choose. But um, well, friends, you want to play Majora's Mask where everything just dies. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, it might help you cope with loss. That's true. And there again, I would love to look at this list now. I have not looked at it because I've just started reading this book today um, and skimming it and stuff like that. But it's really interesting, and I think video game therapy in and of itself i have a couple of other books that i've been skimming about it and i'm hoping to put it on my resume but in the sense like technically i would need to get a certificate in it um to like fully practice it but that doesn't mean i can't use it in practice especially because it's so new um a lot of the times people just kind of throw it into their practice to see how it works because again there's not really a market for it yet um, but if I wanted to label myself as like a video game therapist, I would have to go get a separate certificate for it. But yeah, really cool stuff in my opinion. I, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I've always thought that, uh, I mean, maybe it's because I play video games all the time, but I've always seen that there can be good that comes out of it. I mean, one of the big things that, that's always been around is it improves your hand-eye coordination. Mm -hmm. um, you know, depending on the games you're playing, it can it can help with uh, problem-solving skills. Absolutely. You know, um, there have been, like, don't quote me on this because I haven't read anything in this field in years, but I know there were studies about helping to stave off dementia because it stimulates multiple areas of the brain. Mm -hmm. Like there's, you know, audio inputs, there's visual inputs, you know, you, you're having the hand-eye coordination. Um, and yeah, like, so at the time, like there was a lot of stuff, but like, you know, one of the big causes they think with dementia is that, you know, lack of like new stimulation, you know, if you, mm -hmm. you know, if your brain's not being used, it's, it starts shutting off. Yeah. You know? It starts cutting. Yeah. It's like, oh, th this isn't required. So why am I, so you know, get why, rid of it. Yeah. Like, why am I giving energy to this? Yeah. yeah. So. 
I think it's very interesting, and I thank you for sharing. Yeah, I'm happy to share my video game therapy wisdom whenever. <laughs> I mean, you're the closest to a professional we have in that field. <laughs> yep. One more year. <laughs> One more year. One more, One more year. year. I was actually thinking about starting. Well, I, I don't have time to do this right now because I am in school and stuff. But I was trying to find on TikTok like any because there's a lot of like cozy, cozy gamer, you know, TikTokers and stuff like that. But I wanted to do kind of that with like cozy games or just games in general, but talk about like the actual therapeutic aspects that could be used behind them. Like, here's why this game is good, but also here's why, here's how it could help with like depression or anxiety or PTSD or grief or law, you know, like whatever. Um, I think that would be really interesting. I think that would have to be something a little bit later down the line. But I was thinking about that today because I think it would be really cool. And and next thing you know, we're gonna have the most famous, you know, alternative therapy specialist <laughs> in the world on our podcast. Yeah, that's me. Maggie. Give it like give it like five years. <laughs> give, yeah, give me five years, and you'll be seeing my name everywhere. It will not be Doctor Last Name, but <laughs> it'll uh... <laughs> Tis be Maggie. It, it'll be Rich Innovator Last Name. Yeah, <laughs> Maggie in parentheses Rich Innovator Last Name. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Last name to be determined. Last <laughs> to name be determined. I haven't chosen one yet, actually. <laughs> <clears throat> Listen, all we're guaranteeing you is that someone named Maggie is going to have a huge breakout in the field of alternative therapies in five years. And that's all you need. Suddenly, to someone else named Maggie gets really famous, and they're like, oh, You're the one from the <laughs> podcast. Like, Dude, well, you're the one from that podcast. <laughs> and it is like, like all, Not me, it's some other Maggie. Well, ex except that. She probably would have a podcast. Yeah, honestly, actually, you might be right. <laughs> yeah, we picked an oversaturated. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, Maggie, but we, we, we picked Past a very time, common I name. I call it field, but I'm like, we honestly just do this because it's fun. Yeah. You know? well, I think it's a field. It's not a business thing. It's a it's a hobby, yeah. but it's an oversaturated hobby. What were you saying, Jordan? Much like making TikToks. No, I was going to say, <laughs> it's the fact when Maggie's name is kind of common, it's just like. Yeah, Maggie. Maggie. <laughs> you, you start seeing it everywhere. <laughs> she did it. <laughs> I'm like, no, guys, not me. Wrong, Maggie. <laughs> womp, womp. Womp, womp. womp, womp. Well, I don't have a segue. It's a hard right turn. Great. From something that helps people to a douchebag that has never helped a person, probably in his <laughs> life. I don't know. Satire. Don't sue me. <laughs> Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick recently did a uh, interview with Variety where he claims that there has never been systemic harassment at the company and that reports of such things were mainly the result of unions trying to cause trouble. Cause trouble. Mm -hmm. And obviously, why would I not believe a CEO who has been found by... Uh, Oh, God, what government agency was it that they had to settle with? Because obviously you settle when you're in the right. You know, that's something people do all the time. I know, like, when <laughs> someone settles, you can't say, like, oh, well, this is time because they settled. But that's why companies do it. They settle because it's like, well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> my favorite thing is, uh, you know, they refuse to voluntarily recognize their union that, uh, that QE testers were trying to do. Um Oh, but then it changed direction because Microsoft was supposed to buy them. And Microsoft said, we're not going to stand in the way of unions. And they were like, oh, yeah, no, that's fine. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. However, they withheld pay raises at Raven in retaliation for people who were supporting the union. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, no. But you support unions and it's all the union's fucking problem. Oh, come on, oh. guys. Do Boo. better. Do, do, do. Oh, here we go. So in March 2022, oh. they paid 18 million to settle a sexual harassment lawsuit filed against it by the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. Do, do, do. <laughs> scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Uh, scrolling. <laughs> let's see. Oh yeah, no, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing, and I'm not gonna get into the whole thing. You can read the article on Variety if you want. Um, PC Gamer has a great 
breakdown of this with some like past things that went. Um, but let's see. So in late 2021, PC Gamer spoke to three ex-Blizzard employees whose stories also disagree with Kotick's claims. They said, among other things, the inappropriate workplace behavior, fueled in part by an out-of-control drinking culture, was excused by management, and that women in their department struggled to receive the same recognition as men. God. It's... Now, I don't know. Am I going to believe a CEO who has millions of dollars on the line if he gets kicked out of his position because he did a shitty fucking job? Or am I going to maybe believe these employees who also are remaining anonymous because, you know, if they put their fucking names out, they'll probably get blacklisted from the entire industry because, yes, this is not the only company that this is a problem at. However, we need to punish the ones that we catch. Yeah, absolutely. They've been caught. If you believe Bobby Kotick, fucking... Nope, not going to say any of the things I want to say there. (laughs) Because we're recording this. Um... But fuck off. <laughs> like, that's in the, the polite, simplest yeah, way to say it. In the politest way. No, in the least polite way possible. <laughs> fuck off. You well, want I'm saying to you excuse could, you could say sexual worse. fucking harassment in the workplace? We don't need you. We never needed you. Yeah, that's true. Okay? So stick your fucking head in the sand and just... Words, words, words. Beep boop bop, beep 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 boop, beep bop beep boop. Go, oh. go with fucking Elon <laughs> Douche and live on Mars, okay? These are Animal Crossing <laughs> voices. <laughs> and you just go ahead and remember. Beep boop, 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 uh, it's just I know people keep saying this every year where it's like it's 2022 it's 2023 you know whatever but it is it's fucking 2023 like I just and it you, I mean we could talk about change? just how the world is I mean especially like the US is is going down uh, the shitter uh, um, just... <laughs> but it's just like uh, I... go down the hole <laughs> what to go down the hole so does America it's just down so, DJ. The biggest shits float. It's just so fucked. And I, I know the internet is kind of catered to you. Like how you use the internet so, like slowly over time gets catered to you. What you want to see, what the internet thinks you want to see and stuff like that. But it's just like. Now I don't I don't want to see anything. <laughs> I don't, don't want to see any of it because it's Honestly. just so awful. And I mean that in like obviously I want there to be change and I want to make a change, but it's just like <sighs> what the fuck is going on, dude? <laughs> funny funny thing is well, I was having a conversation with somebody at Hot Pipe and he was like a really oblivious to everything that's been going on in the world and he was like is it better just to be ignorant to it? It's like Honestly, yes and no. I rather, but sometimes I kind of lean more to I'd rather be ignorant when I don't know half of this shit. I mean, you're gonna be less stressed. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I I had to take like a two week break just from reading the news because it yeah. was like wearing on my mental health. But at the end of the day, turning a blind eye yeah. and keeping our mouths shut is why this shit is still a That's problem. what I was about to say. I was like, I, I completely understand that like ignorance is bliss. I 100% get it. But at the yeah. same time, it's again like our generation, the younger generations that have to like actually step in and do something. And it sucks because it feels like anytime we actually do, we just get sh- shut up, like, you know, told we to shut, shut up again. On. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. get shit on by the older generations that still hold this power. So it's like, it's yeah, it's there's yeah, a, I mean, there's it, a lot it, to it, unpack there in and of itself. And, but. and I get it. And at the end of the day, it's hard to think if you're making any type of difference. And here's my thing: I'm not buying Diablo Four because I refuse to give this company money. Yeah, absolutely. Millions of people are going to buy it. Mm-hmm. Does one person not buying it change it? No, but I think if those of us who collectively decide it that still this makes is it... not acceptable, decide to not buy it, a million bee stings can take down a bear. Yeah, absolutely. Like, it's power to the people, and we need to stop just shoving our head in the sand. It's uncomfortable. It sucks. Change is way too fucking slow. Yeah. But if you give up, the change will never fucking happen. Exactly. 
and it it's the that's my piece on it i don't want to get too preachy no no no. i was just gonna i was gonna completely agree with you it's the same thing that happened with the um like harry potter game that came out right like obviously millions of people still bought it but a lot of people didn't because they didn't want to give money to a turf so uh you know it's still probably obviously she still got a shit ton of money out of it but it still had some sort of impact where people were like talking very openly talking about like don't buy this game sure it looks good and it's nostalgic or whatever but like you know that it's bad so don't do it and it's the little things that do add up so can i tell you what would be the ultimate fuck you with the harry potter game what? she got none if it goes in a humble bundle and the humble bundle is donating to an LGBTQ. Exactly. Yes. Charity. Yes. And that is when I'll buy the game, and I'll make sure that I change it so that ninety percent's charity, ten percent's hum- humble. Warner Brothers can suck it. Yeah. Well, and, and I'll double the fucking price. And there were a lot of people. Like I saw people streaming when the game originally had come out. A lot of people were streaming and was like, "Oh, any money I make off of the, like these streams." I'm donating to like trans charities and I a hundred percent am like, yay, do that. But also you still gave money to someone who's a turf. So like, does it really, how much does it offset things? If you're still basically telling she who shall not be named. (laughs) Um, (laughs) There you go. Like it. Yes. Um, (laughs) Lady Voldemort. (laughs) Like, you're being like, yeah, fuck you. Like, da da da. My money's going to to trans like activism. You still bought the game. <laughs> you still you still gave her the money and the recognition. Like, you're still playing it to however many hundreds or thousands or tens of people that are probably also going to go buy the game because that's how streaming works and that's how influencing yeah. works. Is now you want you want to play it. So it's like, do you think you influencing people to buy it? Like, do you think they're going to donate money to to trans activism? Probably not. So it's like, well, you know, on top it's of thing... that. No, 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 you go. I was done. Okay, sorry. Uh, on top of that, do, like, maybe it's the cynic in me, but do I honestly believe you're doing that? Like, exactly. You know, no, where, are, exactly. where are the receipts? Exactly. Are you going to prove to your stream, like, oh, while I was streaming these days, here's how much money I made from all sources, mind you. You know, subs, bits, uh, donations, uh, sales off your merch store, literally that whole anything. Yeah. And then where's the receipts that it's all going there? Yeah. And and also, not all charities are the same. Some are pretty fucking lame duck. So are you donating to ones that matter? Because I think if you're going to donate, you donate to where that bitch lives. Yeah. And you find <laughs> all the trans charities in her area and you donate all your money to them. Yeah. Make life fucking uncomfortable for the people that make life uncomfortable for, for us. For everyone. Yeah. Facts. Absolutely. I said I wasn't going to preach, but apparently but then, I No, no, no. And that's, and that's it. That's all I wanted to say on the, on the topic, so. Jojo? Hey. 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 You got any news? Um, uh, Street Fighter 6. I'm playing it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's it. Next, next week, we'll, all right, that's new. Next week, we will have an update on Street Fighter 6. <laughs> <laughs> Plot twist. I've become the not gamer for two weeks straight and never was, get the oh chance to God. play it. I swear I will laugh so fucking hard at you. <laughs> this is going to be like that uh, that thing where I'm like, am I going to end up playing Street Fighter 6 before you? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Can't let that now, happen. Now you have to race. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. dun, dun, dun. Spooky. All right. Well, I had some more things we were going to talk about, but I'm just going to skip them because I think we had a good conversation today. We yeah. did. I think it was a very so, productive conversation. I'm glad that most of it was positive because I my news was all going to be negative. So thank you, <laughs> Maggie, for bringing some hope and light. Yay! It's much needed. That's why you're our resident co- cozy gamer. Yeah. Yeah. I show up every you're not, you're like not six as episodes. Big of an asshole as the rest of us. <laughs> what asshole? What? Yeah. What? Nerd. No. Yeah. That's yeah. Crazy. But yeah. But no. But yeah. <laughs> but 
No. No, but, but yes. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But no. <laughs> All right, game's coming out, man. Uh, so let's see. On um, six six. Oh, I missed it by one number. The game that shall not be named is coming out. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna fucking. I'm not bothering to say the name in any type of positive way. And then a new uh, kind of cooking simulator game coming out. Obviously, this week is pretty uh, light too because of that game coming out, and that's what most people are gonna be playing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Brew Pub Simulator on the twelfth. Which I'm like, hmm, that sounds like the the simulator game for me. I can run a brew pub while having a brew. Ooh. Except it's on PC only, so I can't play. <laughs> you know. Well, soon. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, hopefully soon. That's it. Kind of a light week for games. Um, anybody got anything else today? I think that's all I had. Uh, what I'm about to do is purchase Street Fighter Six right now. Oh, burr, 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 burr. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, not yeah. that. Whoa, no, whoa, no, wait, no, wait, whoa, wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, I'm just getting a little excited. Got more excited. You know me. I get excited about spending money on games. A game that I'll actually play and I'll let you know sit like DNF Duel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I, I have faith you will actually play. Yeah, I actually do like Street Fighter. Not five, you didn't. Because. I you remember hearing about that one. Because. No, written, I'm not finna rant about, this da- about that damn game again. <laughs> we're ending. We're ending it here. We're ending oh. the show oh, now. <laughs> <laughs> we love y'all. Love you. Go but, tell someone you appreciate them. It might make their day. And if they want to, give them a hug. Yeah. But ask if you can give a hug or know that it's okay to touch someone. Don't yeah. Just exactly. hug a random yeah. Don't do Consent. that. Consent That's is just weird. Okay. I swear, if anyone ever tried to do that to me, you're getting knocked the fuck out. It happens. <clears throat> and on that note, bye bye.